Hello and welcome to a new video. This is my 2021 bullet journal setup. I am Ashley and this is me opening my Dingbats dotted A5 bullet journal. I got it in this beautiful periwinkle blue color. It has an embossed coral reef on the front and I've absolutely loved using this journal so far. For the uh, this journal belongs to area, I am writing my name Ashley in calligraphy in a kind of pinky metallic color. I'm adding some quickly drawn rainbows, some sparkles, and some little dots. And I'm outlining my name in black fine liner, followed by a little bit of white on the name to make it kind of look like a bubbly, juicy lettering. Sorry about the light. I was really struggling with the light at this time. For the inside page, I wanted to try naming my bullet journal. This is something I've seen a lot of bullet journalers do. And I named my journal after the inspiration for my 2021 setup. So let me talk a little bit about that inspiration. If you are Canadian, you might also be familiar with the band The Tragically Hip. The Tragically Hip, um, they were really popular in the late 90s, early 90s, late 90s, and they had a bit of a resurgence recently because their front man, George Downey, had cancer and they did a farewell tour. And George Downey was an amazing uh, singer and writer. And one of my favorite Tragically Hip songs is a song called Wheat Kings. And Wheat Kings is about a few different Canadian things, but one thing, it's uh, set in a city called Saskatoon, which is in Saskatchewan, which is a prairie province. So there's lots of flat wheat fields. And so that is the inspiration for my 2021 setup. It is wheat fields and wheat, and specifically the song Wheat Kings. So in honor of the late and the great Gord Downey, I decided to name my bullet journal Downey after him. And uh, that's me writing Downey in the middle of my name is, and I've got kind of like a wheat um, framing at the bottom and then a little banner at the top that says my name is. So I'm really happy with uh, Downey and it makes me sort of feel happy. It makes me feel like I'm honoring someone who I really looked up to. And if you haven't had a chance to listen to any Tragically Hip, I do recommend them. If you're looking for specific song recommendations, I also really like the song Bob Cajun. And Bob Cajun is a northern uh, Ontario city, and I live in the province of Ontario, and I have driven through Bob Cajun. Um, if you uh, have heard of the song Ahead by a Century, that's also by the Tragically Hip, although I don't know if that one's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, Bob Cajun is also a really, really great song. So on the right hand side, I've set up a little key here, and I've ripped some craft paper to kind of frame out the key. And then I've done some wheat spikelets as well, and I'm writing 2021 in the corner. I'm not gonna fill in the key for you because I haven't actually decided on what my key uh, symbols are going to be, but I don't think they're gonna be the traditional ones of like task, migrated, event. I think it's gonna be more like birthday and I'll do a little cupcake or a weight if I'm gonna do a workout that day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of get experimental with the key this year. So I really like how this page turned out. This is the future log, and if you're not familiar with future logs, it's essentially uh, where you log all the key events for the whole year, so for your future, hence the name future log. And I'm doing kind of an ombre wheat field. So at the bottom, left I have dark brown fluffy wheat and then as I move to the right hand side I get more golden uh, wheat and I am using koi watercolor travel set and a round four brush so it's a fairly small uh, watercolor brush and I'm actually really happy with how this dingbats notebook 
handles watercolor, just don't use too much water, and it's perfect. So I've got January, February, March, April, May, June, so the first six months of the year at the top, and then I am writing out Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, or Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then off camera when I'm watching TV, I will write in the numbers for each month, but honestly, it's the worst job, and I just, I was feeling the creative juices, and I didn't want to stop and uh, do that. So that will be done, um, but off camera. At the bottom to decorate this page, I'm doing kind of graphic, almost like vector uh, wheat. And I was really happy with the first five that I did. I used kind of metallics and gold. This one on the right hand side, it just did not go well for me. So. What I ended up doing is struggling with it, struggling with it. You know when you're trying to do a drawing and you're trying to save it and you just keep like adding things to it? I don't know if you do that. I just keep adding stuff to it and it turns out terrible. So let me just tell you that I replaced it with something. You just saw it there really quickly. Um, but I'll go back and show you another picture of it. But I replaced it with a different wheat spikelet. Okay, now I'm going to do a quote page, and this is lyrics from the song Wheat Kings, which I told you is the inspiration for this whole setup, and the, the quote is, Wheat Kings and Pretty Things, wait and see what tomorrow brings. So Wheat Kings um, is referring to these giant wheat fields that they have in Saskatoon, Pretty Things, the writer was actually in, wrote Pretty Things because there was another um, band that was called Pretty Things and they inspired the Tragically Hip quite a bit. So that's what the Pretty Things stands for. And wait and see what tomorrow brings. It's open to interpretation, but a major character mentioned in the song is someone who was wrongfully convicted for 20 years before he got out. And so the idea is he's looking out the window at these wheat kings and he's waiting to see what tomorrow brings. Now, my reason for choosing this quote is to kind of uh, focus on the little things and the beauty around us and to look forward to the future and to a better future, specifically in 2021 after this rough year of 2022 and I just did a silhouetted sun um, with some wheat uh, wheat field in front of it and I think it turned out really nicely and I did some gold lettering now I'm going to go back to the craft paper and the main thing that I like to log for my year are my books my movies and my TV shows and then um, so I have TV shows and movies on the left hand page and then on the right hand page I'm just going to have a blank area for ideas. Kind of like a brain dump page but I feel like brain dump is sort of anything. Specifically I want to keep track of ideas I have for videos, ideas I have for spreads or for art and I'm going to put that on the uh, right hand side. And then I'm also going to do accents of little wheat spikelets kind of in a bunch and I think that looks pretty nice. So the last page I'm going to do is my books to read page and I totally lifted this from several spreads I saw on Pinterest which is basically um, a giant book open and I, ugh, it was hard to do, it was hard to do, there's a lot of lines. I didn't use a ruler and I'm not regretful of that because it does take a long time. I did do it in pencil first. Um, and I do like the effect, but it's definitely 
was a lot more work than my movie and my TV show tracker. But there's my big book, and I'm going to slow it down and do a flip through. So we've got my books to read page, and I'm going to flip back to the very first page where I have my name, Ashley. And I left these pages blank, but I have my, my name is Downey page, my key, my first page of my future log. Actually, this is my second one. I didn't really do a good job of flipping, did I? Um, I hope I go back to that. There's my Wheat Kings and Pretty Things quote page, my TV shows, movie shows tracker, my ideas page, and my books to read. And then I'm going to leave some blank pages for some goal setting, and I'm going to get right into my January plan with me after that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I didn't show you my, my wheat spread again. I'll uh, show you again at the beginning of the January 2020 plan with me video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ashley saying goodbye.